this is Andy from The Simple Guitar. Yeah, um, Jam and Bob. It's all about guitar playing, it's all about jamming, getting freedom on the guitar, just play along with everything, every song uh, you have in the background. And, uh, well, this seems really complex. It is somehow, because you have to do so many things together. You have the right hand, the left hand, you have chords, you have scales, you have rhythm and all these things. And uh, what we do is, or what I do, is I break it down into four simple things, finally. And uh, if you break it down, you can learn things piece by piece, and it's a lot easier to learn it piece by piece. So, and the first and most important thing to me is you need a good sound. So, sound variations. So, that means uh, you need a good vibrato, bending, slidings, and uh, just listen to that. This is a Stevie Ray Vaughan song. It's okay like this. But if you play it like that... It's different. And if you listen to Steve, it's even, even more power and it's even more intense than that one because he's the master of disaster. He's a godfather of, of vibrato and, and powerful playing. Yeah, and we have those vibrato things. We have bending, slidings. And a lot of things uh, we could just play into our pentatonic scale and make it uh, make it fantastic so this is uh, this makes you already uh, uh, 10 levels better if you if you have a good sound so and it's not the amp it's not the guitar it's your hands this is important to know second thing is rhythm so uh, yes yeah, you know uh, a scale has seven notes one two three four five six seven and uh, well that's it and if we add all those chromatic notes in between we have 11 notes but that's it. So to get a big and a huge variety, we need something else, and that is rhythm. And uh, well, we learn rhythm by rapping. I am the man in town. Everybody sees the guitar I have here. And then we try to 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 make the drum with the mouth. Da And then we try to translate that to the guitar. And this is what we do in the rhythm part. <laughs> Instead of just hammering out notes, uh, we try to put some rhythm in there. Yeah, it's getting a lot more interesting immediately. Yeah, and the next step, if we, if we master that, we can put our solos into smaller pieces. We cut them. Into, into sentences, like natural language. If I speak, I have breaks in between. I can build up something, I can make it interesting. And this is what I do with the guitar as well. So, I'm here. Now, where are you? I don't know. And so on. So, uh, yeah, we learn tricks for that. This is phrasing. And uh, yeah, now we have the, the three major things, and they're, I think, easy to get. And the next level is uh, then to, to, to alter the chords, to extend the chords, and to learn some scales. And uh, it's just some additional notes to the pentatonic. So, uh, and it's going to sound completely different. the pentatonic but what we do is we add the dory mode to it and yeah we'll have this in the last chapter but it's uh, this is the last level this this chord and uh, scale thing so I, I i think it's overestimated to uh it, it's interesting to me and i like to, to use them a lot but um if i listen to my favorite guitar players they're playing more or less pentatonic with perfect sound perfect rhythm and perfect phrasing and uh, it's Sean Mayer, it's uh, Eric Cray, it's um, Stevie Ray Vaughan, all, all of those superheroes there. And uh, well, this is what I'm going to teach you in that course. I'm trying to give you an idea of how you can uh, reach this, uh, this new things. And yeah, I hope to see you soon.